several treatment options depending on the quality or type of stenosis. The trachea is like a pipe, like a windpipe as we describe it, and there are two types of stenosis that can occur. There's some stenosis where the structure of the pipe is intact, yet there's scarring that fills the inside. That type of stenosis is treated endoscopically, meaning we go in with a scope through the mouth done under general anesthesia, and we use a specialized laser to make cuts in the stenosis and then a balloon to stretch or open up that area of stenosis. This is an outpatient procedure that patients tolerate very well and notice improvement in breathing almost immediately after the procedure. The second type of stenosis that can occur is what we call cartilaginous stenosis, or where the actual framework of that pipe has become collapsed down. Because the actual framework of the trachea or subglottis is not open, we're unable to approach that type of stenosis endoscopically and therefore would require what we call an open procedure or a procedure that involves an incision in the neck. This type of procedure we call a cricotracheal resection or a tracheal resection, where we remove a segment of that collapsed or broken windpipe, remove that, and then sew the two good ends back together. This is a more complex procedure that requires admission to the hospital for approximately five days and is a more extensive recovery, but is sometimes the only treatment option when the outside framework of the trachea is compromised.